Hey everyone, happy Friday. Happy May 1st, can you believe it? It's already May. Uh, it's been a crazy six weeks or so, right? Uh, I'm so glad you're here today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on replay, I really appreciate that as well. And um, I have a few projects to show you today, some really cute ones using the Follow Your Art Suite, which not only is retiring, uh, but uh, many of the components of that suite are really reduced. So it's very much discounted. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So a couple things I want to show you. Hey, Pat. Um, I, have you seen the hashtag share sunshine out this week in, in the crafting world? Uh, Stampin' Up! released their PDF stamp images. Um, but it is it is a PDF, so it's really cool. It's it's fun things about uh, the situation we're all in, sheltering in place, COVID, not finding enough toilet paper, all those all those things that are happening right now. So it's a 15 page. So I just kind of want to show you a few of these 15 pages of whoops of uh, downloads that you can download, print at your convenience. So for instance, on this page and every page. The, the one half is all black and the other half is in color. So a lot of them are repeated. There's just some really cute ones um, about sheltering at home, hanging out with families, um, having those video chats with family, things like that. I made a card. One of the images is for a quarantini. So I made this cute card. I, I printed out that page and then used a die cut square to cut it out. And it says, have another quarantini. And then inside it says, it's like a normal martini, but you drink it at home alone because that's kind of what's happening, right? I'm not even a martini person, but I just thought it was so cute. And when I realized that if I printed it in black, I could use my Stampin' Blends to color. So I colored the glass, hard to tell, it's a little light pink and petal pink I believe I used. And then of course I colored the olives with um, old olive and poppy parade. So just something cute, a fun little way to send family members or neighbors. I've seen people where they uh, took a empty spool of toilet paper and put on uh, this one right here. It says, I totally share my toilet paper with you. Just, just cute little things, lots of fun. Anyway, just breathe. Just, I'll put the link up uh, on this post, once I post, but the, it's $12, 100%. Stampin' Up! is not taking any money. I don't get a commission on this. 100% will go to COVID-19 uh, relief efforts. So, so it's a wonderful fundraiser. So if you're interested, purchase it, download it immediately, cut and use it. You can cut by hand, use dies, punches, whatever works for you. So something fun with that. I also wanted to share with you my May uh, online card class. So it will be a card kit to go if that's what you prefer. It's also going to be a virtual Zoom class on May 29th. And then also the video tutorial will be for sale. Um, so I'm using the Sailing Home suite of products. But what I'm doing is I'm using the um, Memories and More Cards. So there is no stamping with this card kit. You'll make 10 cards because you'll make two of each. So I'll give you all the supplies for 10 cards with envelopes, but you'll also get the full pack of the Memories and Morse cards, a full pack of the Sail Away trinkets, and then a full pack of the uh, this twine right here, the Sahara Sand Navy uh, Baker's twine. So all the are discounted. So place your order. I'll have that link up for that as well. Um, but it's going to be a fun class, and I love that we can do it a Zoom class. Even those of you, if you don't own any stamps, it's a great way to craft and have some fun with us. So I hope you'll take a peek at that. Remember, each week I draw two winners, and their names come from people who have shared the video from the week before. Uh, the video post on Facebook, my page is Chicks Tamper, or on my group, which is Create with Carol or even on the YouTube site uh, itself. So I have two, let's see, two uh, packets from last week of the, that was the Poppy week. And the winner who are getting these class kits are Christine Hutchins. 
So, Christine, I'm pretty sure I know your address, but email me, send me a private message or email me um, just to confirm that I've got the right one for you, okay? And Donna McClelland. So, Donna, thank you so much. So, please send me a private message or an email at carol at checkstamper.com uh, with your current address, and those packets will go out on Monday, ladies. So, congratulations, and thank you so much for commenting and sharing. I really appreciate it. Okay. That was kind of a lot of housekeeping today. Are we ready to see these fun projects? And this is using the Follow Your Art Suite. Hey, Diane. I'm going to turn my phone down so I won't be able to see who all's watching, but let's just take a peek. And I'm just going to update my laptop so maybe I can be able to see some comments. Here we go. Okay. So this... Um, Paper that you're looking at is the Follow Your Art Designer Series paper. Isn't it so cool looking? I love it. It's There's lots of different um, crafty things. Like, I guess that's why I love it, right? So scissors and markers and uh, little painting items here. And we've got our sponge roller on there. And then when you fill up the paper over, there's other fun de designs that just look like they've been watercolored or really abstract uh, paintings. And then here's another crafty piece for us as well. So this paper we're going to use today, but I wanted to, let me just get my little notes. This paper, instead of $11.50 right now, is on sale for $4.60. So here's where you're going to order. Let me just make sure that that's on camera. Um, remember, all orders over $35 this weekend, today through Monday, will receive today's uh, card kit in the mail for free, as well as our little thank you that I'll show you later. So, we've got... That's backwards, I'm sorry, you guys. And look at these fun dies. Aren't they cute? So, we're using a few of these dies today. I made some buttons, and I actually have this long die here. That is part of this set as well for you. So let me just move this a little bit now that I can see where you're at on my tablet. Okay, so fun, fun, fun. One of the parts I like about this whole suite is washi tape. So the washi tape right now is on sale for $3.60. And you know what I forgot? You're gonna just be shocked. These dies, the arts and craft dies, they coordinate with the stamp set. So the stamp set is $20. I don't believe that's on sale. But these dies are $12.80. That's amazing. So this suite is just a smoking deal. Let's go like that a little bit. Now, one of the other parts, it's called the embellishment kit for Follow Your Art. Follow Your Art is this whole big suite. So the embellishment kit, let me show you a new one because I've just been playing and having so much fun. If you attended my retreat last summer, we worked with this a little bit. So it has twine. Look at all these fun little hearts and paper clips. And then these felt pieces, I just love. And I'm using them on today's projects. But look how there's four colors. Coastal Cabana, uh, Crushed Curry, Petal Pink, and Calypso Coral. All these cute little felt pieces and they just pop right out. They're stitched, oh, they're just adorable. So this embellishment kit is on sale for $6.60, and you get this adorable box that you could put some cards in and give away. So, so I think it's just adorable. It's a great, great deal. And all these fun things are on sale, which makes it even more awesome. Okay, so let me put that out of the way. And let me show you what we're going to make today. I've got two cards for you. This one says, you paint my world with happiness. Isn't that sweet? This one says, let's stay up late and craft. This one is a Z-fold card. So this is a great one to send to your friend that you like to craft with. Maybe you do scrapbooking crops or just hanging out and crafting at night. That's a fun one. Right now you might be doing it over Zoom, but you could send her that card as well. Okay, so we are gonna start with this card, You Paint My World With Happiness. And one of the things that I wanted to show you is, I know I've talked about it in the past, but this is one of the dies that comes with the die set, so it's a string of buttons, and you can see it right here on the card, how I used it. 
So I cut it out this morning, but I just wanted to remind you about the take your pick die brush end. That is um, a separate attachment that you can you can purchase separate from the take your pick tool, but it fits on one of the ends. So it just works so well. Look at that. It's just going to pull everything out and then I can just go over those last little bits. So, so fun. So I want you to get, be sure you get that on your list for your next purchase because it's so handy and very useful. Okay, here we go. So we've got all of these pieces. So I've, I used the button button embossing folder. Let's see. Oh, here it is. I had it out to show you. I forgot. It's actually on sale right now for four dollars and fifty cents that this tweet is just it's just so so fun and I didn't even know all that when I decided to to do this um, I thought it would be fun instead of stamping on the inside of our card just to show you a different way of doing it so you can see right here I just cut a strip of our designer paper that we're using on the outside of our card and I thought it would be fun just to put it to it this way but then we'll turn it around for you just to put it right on the bottom there and then when we put it inside our card as our insert it just adds a little pop right there there we go isn't that cute and you could still stamp something right here if you wanted okay so our front of our card is going to come together. I've already used that button button emboss, embossing folder on this piece of Calypso Coral. I hope you can see it. Just a reminder that this tutorial for both of today's projects will post for free on my blog later today at uh, chickstamper.com. And I'm not sure why, but that is an address that you have to actually type in the www.chickstamper.com. Otherwise it doesn't it's not very happy with it, I guess. I'm not sure why, but that's okay. That's easy to do. So I'm just going to put this strip, it's about, I think, an inch and three-quarter inch strip, I believe, um, right here on the bottom, a little bit, little bit over half towards the bottom. And then we'll get some adhesive on here, and we'll put this on the front of our card. I just think it's a fun and bright card, which is probably why I like it so much. Because I like those bright colors. Okay, so we've got our uh, button, string of buttons here. And I just used a little adhesive because I could just kind of come back over. And the silicone sheet is kind of handy, so I can just kind of come back over and take off what I don't want. Okay, then I just put it right here on the bottom. I just thought it was a fun accent. But there's no wrong or right. It's wherever you want to put it. It will work just perfectly. Okay, so our circle is from the uh, Stitched Shapes dies. And it's the second to the largest circle if you're playing along today. Um, it's just a nice one. Then we're going to be able to pop it up with some dimensionals. So this one says, let me get the right stamp, you paint my world with happiness. That's kind of a sweet, a sweet saying. And I just stamped it towards the bottom a little bit, maybe a little bit over half. I'll leave that open for later. Okay, so we are, want to get some dimensionals on this so that we can pop this up. And I like to do things in triangles just that kind of help support it. If it was much bigger, I would probably add some more dimensionals. As you know, we don't like any saggy, saggy parts of our project. So I just put it about right there. And I pre-cut a few pieces. Let's see, I did pre-tie the bow on this card. And then I wanted to use one of those cute little felt pieces. So I think I have a, a yellow one for us. 
and I cut a couple buttons. There we go. Okay, so we can just use glue dots for that. That will be nice and nice and simple. And we're going to put rhinestones on them, so it's okay if the glue dot shows a little bit. And the glue dots will work on these felt pieces. Easy, they're very light, so a glue dot put, lets them sit wherever you want. And you can change it up if you're making this at home. Just use whatever colors you have. These are those button dies that come with a die set. Whoops, and will you put the well, one with the glue dot before we put those away? And I just used, this is a Crush Curry uh, crinkled seam binding. And I just used that because I thought it was cute and it matched the card base. Okay, we just need some rhinestones. Let me get my little rhinestone picker. Again, no wrong or right. Use whatever size you like, whatever size you have. I just kind of went down in order with large, medium, and then a little... A little one on the pink button, but any size will do. Look at that, how cute is that? What do you think? You paint my world with happiness. And then it looks pretty inside, we've got the matching DSP there, or designer series paper. Okay. So on this one, because it's buttons, I thought this cute stamp with buttons would look cute. So I'm just gonna ink it up with the Pacific Point ink and stamp. It's not much, you could stamp more if you wanted, but just a little something so our envelope's not too naked. We cannot have that. Alrighty, do you like that one? I hope you do. Let me move this up a little and see if I can see. Yes, Diane, exactly, you never want to be saggy. That's right, girlfriend. <laughs> Okay, our next card is our Z-Fold card. So I wanted to show you, Z-Fold just means because of the shape when it finishes. So if you kind of look this direction, it looks like a Z, and that's where the name comes from. But it's fun. It's still a half a sheet of cardstock. It's just originally cut hot dog shape, so lengthwise. So at four and a quarter, so the length is 11 because we start with an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, right? So we score in the middle, which is five and a half, but then the front we score in half again, which is two and three quarters. And that allows this piece to fold back on itself and form that Z. Okay, so that's what we're gonna start with. So I've got some different part of the designer paper from this set. This one has markers and pens and pencils on it. I thought it was cute. So we're gonna put this on this front, front left sheet. And it's not overly directional, but you might find one way you like better than the other. So go ahead and put it down there. Okay. Now, well, we can do this part next. Okay, so I did the same thing with the designer series paper for the inside of the card with just a little strip. If you wanted to stamp something, you could. Sometimes if when I'm making this style of cards, I stamp something either over on this side or underneath where this flap goes so that when it closes, you don't see just a part of an image because it looks kind of funny. But if you like it, that is totally okay. Okay. Let's just put this strip down. Thought it was a cute way to get a little color on the inside of this card. And it's just gonna go down onto a five and a quarter uh, by four piece of Calypso Coral, which ties in the colors to this card. Okay, so now when we put it on the inside of our card, we just wanna make sure that the strip of paper is towards the outside. So I would say on the right, but I know the camera is showing you things backwards, so. 
there we go. So when we close it, it's going to open like that. Gives you plenty of room to write. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So now we need to make this cute central piece, central focus of our card. So let's do that. Okay, so this square, excuse me, I'm gonna get a little sip of water. <coughs> yes, Diane, you are right. I love those colors for sure. You know me, I just love bright colors. Okay, this one says, let's stay up late and craft. So let me ink up that. I'm gonna use the same Pacific point, but I'm just gonna do it over here on this side a little bit. <coughs> and now I'm... <coughs> Oh, I'll leave it open for the envelope, I guess. I was going to close it. But. Okay, so this one just goes on to a piece of Calypso Coral as well. Okay, and this is going to be the, the front. Now, the thing I want to make sure you do, though, when you're putting it together, and you can see on the finished product... So we only put adhesive under this side, which is the left side, but it might be showing to you on the right, I'm sorry, on just this side under the Calypso Coral piece because this side doesn't attach to anything. So be sure you only get some on this side. So let's do that. Okay. And you can put it in the center, up, low, whatever you like. I kind of like mine in the center, so I'm going to do that. Okay. So then I have a cute felt piece. This time it's going to be a uh, Coastal Cabana. And let me get some glue dots for that. Get a couple this time. He's kind of big. And we'll just put him right there for that cute heart okay then this piece here i want to show you what i did i originally used let's get it uh this stamp here so the image is three stacks of ribbon and one ribbon makes little hearts so you can see that but then there's a die that cuts that out right here see how that fits so I stamped that in our Memento Tuxedo Black. That way we can use the Stampin' Blends on it. So I did a second one so that we could uh, color a little bit of it. But I didn't want to color it all in front of you and take forever. So I used gray granite on the spools. And you can see that it's just a lighter gray. And then for the ribbon, I used light Calypso Coral, light Mango Melody, and light Bermuda Bay. So I'm just gonna color this really quick. And when I normally, when I color, I have to take my glasses off, my eyes gotta get right up next to it. So we'll see how this goes like this. <laughs> It'll be fun. Um, and it's just so fun to color with these Stampin' Blends. These are our alcohol markers. I think many of you have them. I actually sell a lot of these because they're so easy to color with and they really help you feel like you're a real artist because you really can't go wrong. They blend so well. Each color has a light and a dark. So normally we use them for shading, which I think I've told you before, I'm not very good at And I use the light and the dark colors, which we're not doing today, but um, it does. It gives me a little bit of confidence. Like, wow, I can't believe I actually made it look like that with a little bit of shading. Somehow my brain has a hard time with that. Where the light is, what color should you use? And But boy, if somebody shows me, I can follow directions and I can copy really darn well. So I've learned to use the blends and I just love them because you don't get those lines, those streaks that you do with regular markers. And that's because of the alcohol in them. So see, so we just colored those up so that it looks like real ribbon. And then what I did to make it fun and sparkly, because, you know, we've got to have that, is we used some Winkastella. 
So Wink Costella, remember, just adds a little sparkle of glitter. It dries really fast, but it just is so fun. So your projects, it could be little snowflakes we use it on. Here I'm just using it on this coral ribbon just, just because we can and why not? <laughs> How cute is that? Okay, the other thing from this kit, you get these two bolts of twine. So Pacific Point and Calypso Coral. So I just thought it was fun. So I just tied a double bow uh, for the cart. So all I did is just hold them together so then I could just tie them at the same time. So pretty simple, just makes it kind of fun for the card to add a little bit more of a pop of color. Sometimes with twine, I like to kind of play with it for a little bit because sometimes it has a little mind of its own of how it wants to lay. And sometimes, sometimes you got to show it who's boss. <laughs> okay, so let's trim that up. And get a little glue dot here. I'm just gonna roll my little glue dot like a little burrito. And then fold it in half so that I get kind of like a little ball. Because I, I wanna try to hide it behind the knot. And because this is skinny, thin twine, it's a, that knot is pretty little. So I'm just gonna put it right here on our card. And see, it matches really well, don't you think? So cute. Okay, then our ribbon spool I think should go up on dimensional so it can pop. So let's get it up a little higher there. Oopsie. Okay, and let's get some mini dimensionals and see if we can get them in some of these tiny areas. For, there we go, for our ribbon. Okay. Let's put this down and then we'll just get some rhinestones for this card. Alrighty. So again, no wrong or right. I'm just kind of, for some reason, these cards today, I just wanted to put everything on a little angle. Okay, let's stay up late and craft. What do you think? So stinking cute. I love this set. I'm sorry it's retiring because it's just fun. So again, I'm just using a small, medium, and large. No wrong or right, wherever you want to put, put them. The three works well. There we go. Little bling. It's set. Not sure if you can see that Wink of Stella. It's really hard to see on video or even uh, in photographs, but in person, it's so pretty. It just adds so much. Okay, so for this envelope, one of the stamped images are these three pen pencils. So this is kind of a hard one. Let me put this under. Um, I'm just going to ink up a little bit, and I'm going to try really hard just to get one. Oh, that worked. Just a little something on that envelope to go with that card because this is the designer paper that we use, so that particular one goes without well, so that's nice. Okay, all right, what do you guys think? I hope you like them. Let me close this ink before I stick my finger in it again. <laughs> okay, so today's thank you gift that will go out with the class kits, and again, remember all orders order over 35 from today through Monday will receive that class kit. So today's thank you is a little matchbox and it's got the little one of the little felt pieces. It says you make everything sparkle with some rhinestones and that uh, crushed curry ribbon. So it holds a little uh, butterscotch candy. So there you have it. All righty. Let me bring you back up so I can just say goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks so much for wa watching today. I appreciate it. Next week I will be back with something. I'm not sure yet what it is, but something that will be fun, I'm sure. Uh, we'll make a couple cards. I love doing these mini classes for you. And just remember that they're free and the tutorials will post for free on my blog. So 
Uh, later today, oh, hey sis, how are you, Con? Thanks for watching. Um, so the everything will post, the video will post, the tutorial will post, a product list will post to help you if you wanted to order the products. Um, all of that will work and you can order them. Otherwise you can make them with product that you have at home. That works out great too. Mostly I just want you guys to be stamping and showing us what you're making. So, so get out there and make something fun and post to share it on my Chick Stamper page or my Create with Carol Facebook page. Um, I would love that. I love to see what everybody's working on. Okay. Have a wonderful week. Mwah. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll be back next Friday at 1. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.